Why do you not feel as fury about yourself? Well, you have to use a very lovey-dovey kind of word so that actually, that actually doesn't make sense, you know? And they can actually feel the love coming from you, you know, because they need, they need to have that acceptance. Okay, you can't just be correcting something and you're not even, you're not even uh, trying to accept them. You're trying to help or support them. So you go, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm tired of you talking about you gaining weight. No, we're going to do something about this. What's the size you want to look like? You start with that. Yeah, you do. Then you would be ask her, asking, do you have a picture of what you want to look like? And then like, and she goes, like, oh, he goes like, no, no. If you say I'm not fat, it's okay. If you say no, this is, I'm not taking this. We have to sort this out. I don't want you having to ask this question because it's obvious there's something wrong. I want, I want you to get better. You know, you shouldn't always feel like maybe you're fat or not too fat or too slim or anything like that. Let's get this sorted out. Just say, you probably, you know, everyone has a picture of what they actually want to look like. I have a picture of what I want to look like. <laughs> okay, so, you know, they go with pictures from someone you guys know or something like that. And then you say, yes, I'm going to help you get this, get to this point. I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you achieve this look. And fine, we're going to go to the gym together. We're going to diet if we have to. We're going to stop all the, uh, all the cokes, all the sodas. We're going to stop all the sugars. We're going to become partly vegan. Also, when they give you a picture of the kind of man, a woman that they want to look like, you don't go, oh yeah, she's hot. Or He's hot. No, you never do that. That's a trap. It's a huge trap. If you're not careful, you're going to fall inside. Yeah, deep down inside. Anyway, so when they give it a picture like that, you go, you want to look like this person? Oh, I think you look better than this person. I mean, I like your butt better than this person. I like your back view better than this person or something like that. You don't go, oh yeah, she's hot. You don't, you don't do something like that. And then when you, when you, when you tell them, okay, so this is the picture you want to look like. This is the size of the figure you want to have. I'll help you. But make sure you don't get your waist too tiny like this. Even if you kind of like the tiny waist, you don't make it so obvious that you do. That's going to ruin your self-esteem. They're going to think, oh, so you wanted me to look like this all this while? You know, like they're not pretty enough or good enough kind of thing. So you have to be really careful because there's a detail in this on either side. So you just want to be careful. I hope they don't become overly obsessed with the fitness thing or trying to gain weight or trying to lose weight. They don't become obsessed with it. You have to ensure that you tell them loving words, you know, as a progress, you know, as in they make uh, changes. It's just seeing differences and complimenting them. Make sure you're very, very generous with your compliments because it would go a long way in uh, ensuring that you're balanced. If you don't give them compliments, if you just they, they have a tendency of wanting to. Um, do extra or become overly extra just so they can gain that compliment, you know, so communication is really very important I cannot overemphasize it, you know You tell them the truth, but how you say it is really important if you say it in a way that's gonna break them uh, You're gonna be really sorry. Let's just put it that way the reason why this topic came about was because so many people really want to say something to your spouse but they don't know how to say it and they end up saying the very harsh way without actually meaning to them. it just ruins the relationship so i hope you've learned something from this and let me know what your comments are remember trista hat matches at, at gmail.com that's our email address